Hey y'all, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, you are going to learn eight useful websites, whether you're a content creator, a business owner, freelancer, teacher, student, or if you're simply looking for some cool tools to add to your toolbox. Let's start with the first website. This one's called Profile Pick Maker. All you need to do is grab a profile pic of yours. I'm going to use this one, for instance. Doesn't matter if you've got a background because what it will actually do is remove the background and then it will add some background variations for you. In an instant, you've got a ton of profile pic designs to choose from. And now you can simply click on any, download it, and then upload it to whatever social media profile of your choosing. Going back to the top, you're given a few more options such as adjusting the photo, rotating it, scaling it. Then you can also edit the background color and also adjusting the shadow style. So you can say no shadow or one of these other variations. Next up, do you need assets for your social media content? Well, Mixkit's got you covered. They've got a ton of stock videos, stock music, sound effects, video templates, and more. So let's say you're making a YouTube video and you're looking for some nature stock videos. You can simply click on nature or do a quick search for that at the top bar. Here are the results. The top bar is always the sponsored videos. So scroll below and these are the ones that you can download and freely use on your YouTube videos. This one here, white sand beach and palm trees looks pretty cool. So if you click that, you can then click on download free video. It is entirely safe to use if you go to their license page. And for instance, if we click on the stock video Video free license. You can see that videos under the free license can be used in YouTube videos, social media posts, online marketing ads, and much more. Attribution and crediting is not required, but it's always appreciated. This next website is great if you want book recommendations. It's called Good Books. And if you go to goodbooks.io, you'll land on this page and you can see some of the featured authors or people. Hovering over books, you'll see categories and also on the right, featured books. Let's click on the courage to be disliked, for example. You'll be given a summary of what that book's about and then you can purchase it on Amazon or Apple Books, but scrolling down is where it's most useful. You can see recommendations for the courage to be disliked, some of these authors, creators, influencers. Further down, you'll see similar recommendations. So if you like that book, then these are some books that you may also like. So if you want some ideas and some more books on that subject, then take a look down below. My favorite page on Good Books is the top 100 page. And as suggested, it's the top 100 books of all time. If you go here, you can see what books you can read next or get some ideas for a future read of yours. How are you liking these websites so far? Let me know by giving this video a quick thumbs up and let's move on to the next one. Next up, this tool is going to help you see the different time zones of your team members. So if you work with a remote team or if you work with others online, then this is going to come handy or you can see the different time zones of different places. Let me demonstrate. It's called There and it is at the moment only available on Mac OS. However, I will show you an alternate website that does pretty much the same job. On the Mac, you can click on the There app at the top and right here, this is my time right now, Sydney, and I've got my team members right here. So Marold's from uh, the Philippines, I've got Justin who's in the US, and I've got uh, Sean in London, uh, Paula from Lisbon, uh, Portugal, uh, also my designer, Sam, who's in Jakarta, Indonesia. What you can also do is add places. So let's say Eastern time, Pacific time, you can add those all in. So by clicking on add, you can select between adding a person or adding a place. Let's say you wanna add a person. You add their first name, last name, and then add the city of where they are actually situated. Upload a photo of them, or you can go and grab that photo from Twitter. The alternate, if you do not wanna install there, is a website called timezone.io. If we click on live demo, you can see what it looks like and how it works. Here's a team and the different time zones of where they are actually situated. So rather than having to go to Google to search up what time it is at a certain location, simply use timezone.io or there to see what time it is in an instant. This next website is called Diff Checker, or in other words, Difference Checker. If you ever wanna compare between uh, two files, let's say you've got one text file and another, and then you wanna see what the difference is. Let's say one of your team members made a change and you do not know what that change is, simply use diff checker. I'm going to upload two different PDF files and then you can see what the differences are. Here are my two PDF files. I've got an article and then an updated article. I'll upload the original article first, drag and drop it to the first box 
And next I'll upload the updated version. Now that it's uploaded, I'll click on find difference, scroll below and then you'll see what the difference is. I intentionally added diff checker to these areas and sections right here so you can see it. One of its powerful options is the images comparison. So what you can do is compare between two different images. I probably don't have the best example, but what I'm going to do is add two different images. So one is right here and then another right here. And right there, what you can do is drag and then you can see what the difference is. So rather than having two images open side by side, you can simply use a diff checker in the images section and then drag and then see the comparison. What you can also do is change the fade so you can fade it out. A couple more options and views. You can go to split and then see it side by side, which is the traditional way. And you can also go to difference, which shows kind of the negative. And another one, depending on the type of work that you do is file details. You may wanna see what the height and the width is, the file type, the size, you can see there are differences right here. But the slider view is pretty cool. So just for fun, if you ever wanted to, you can find a doppelganger picture and then upload it and then seeing side by side what the differences are. This next one is going to help you generate website mockups instantly. It's called Screely. All you need to do is grab a screenshot, take a screenshot of any website, drag and drop it, to the center and in an instant that screenshot has been turned into this kind of web browser mock-up. There are a few customization options here such as the window if you want that address bar to show as you can see there it is or you can have no window it's up to you if you want that clean look. You can also adjust the window style to regular, darken or outline. Changing the color of the background is really easy. Click on color choosing from the palette right here or from the bottom and selecting a different color. Once you're done with your mockup, simply click on download. And now you can feature this on your portfolio, on your website or social media. Moving on, this website is called Copy Paste Character. And when you go to the website, what you can do is simply copy and there's the HTML code right there. Or you can simply copy, let's say this character, and I'm just going to do a quick copy on my keyboard, open my text editor and paste it in. And there we go. Rather than being limited to just using emojis, you can choose from dozens and dozens of characters and then use it on social media and your captions your descriptions or wherever else where you want to add these fun little characters all right last but definitely not least is called copy.ai if you go to free tools you'll see a range of generators that they offer such as a free bio generator free email subject line generator we've got free instagram caption generator content idea generator let's click on that it's going to ask you two questions what is your niche and what topic do you want ideas about I've gone ahead and entered digital marketing and Facebook ads. I'll click on create copy. And now it's generated some content ideas such as Facebook ads, best practices, three things to consider when choosing a Facebook ads agency and much more. So if you're ever stuck when it comes to content ideas, you can use the content idea generator specifically to generate some content ideas. Taking a look at a few more examples, you've got TikTok content ideas, free product name generator, free business name generator, and a free slogan generator. And there you have it. Those are the eight useful websites. Let me know in the comments below which of these is your favorite. I'd love to know. In the meantime, do give this video a quick thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this one right here.